Sadly, my husband died just a little over a year ago of lung cancer, um, and he was an MP, he was a government minister, um, and he decided to join politics because he wanted to make a difference and help people, um, which he was doing within his career, but then unfortunately he got diagnosed with lung cancer, and as soon as he got diagnosed, it's right, well, this is another cause and campaign I need to get on board with. Sadly, he's lost his fight, um, and I'm here to pick up the mantle and carry on. So that's why I'm sort of here. <laughs> so it, does it feel to you like a, almost like a, a legacy project, really? Definitely, definitely. Um, the minute he died, um, we set up a charity page um, in his memory and people have donated very generously to that and left heartwarming messages. Um, and it's now, for me, it's trying to raise, raise awareness and carry on raising money mm. um, and carrying on with that, basically. When you found out that James had cancer, did you then learn more about lung cancer and realise that it was something perhaps people don't know as much about as they could do? I certainly learned that a lot more about that in the last year. Obviously, when James was alive, he, he got first diagnosed um, nearly four and a half years ago uh, and he died three and a half years later. Um, and obviously, I was very sort of focused on his needs and what was happening to his, his, in his world and our world. Um, but obviously I've now joined up with Roy Castle Lung Cancer Foundation and I'm certainly finding out a lot more and meeting other people that have survived lung cancer or living with lung cancer now. So I'm definitely learning more about it as time goes on. And Dawn, it comes back, doesn't it, to that, that so important, the, the message of early diagnosis, and it, it can make a huge difference to so many people. It makes all the difference. So I, I'm very aware that we do have a big backlog in the NHS at the moment, and I think the public have been amazing at not coming forward. But there is more than COVID out there, and I think there are two main reasons why people don't come to see us with symptoms. One is maybe they're frightened of what they might be told, and the other is that they are aware of the pressures. And I'd like to sort of answer both both of those and say, yes, of course there is a backlog and of course we're under pressure, but there are some symptoms that we really do want to see. You know, if you've got a cough that is lasting for more than three weeks, mm. We want to see you. Uh, we may be, you know, and we can probably reassure you it may not be anything serious, but it can be the early signs of lung cancer. And lung cancer is no different to any other cancer. The earlier we pick it up, the better the chances, That's the right. better the prognosis. And the other thing to say is Kathy's lovely husband was a non-smoker. Lung cancer is not something that just affects smokers. One in four lung cancers are mm. not smoking related. It's not just coughing, is there? There's, there's other symptoms not. as well. No, so ask me about yes. the symptoms. Actually, yeah, yeah. OK, really so, yeah. yeah, a persistent cough, coughing up blood, being short of breath, feeling utterly fatigued and losing weight without any explanation, um, experiencing pain when you cough or breathe. All of those sorts of symptoms could be backaches at chest, anywhere in your chest, really, when you're breathing. So any of those symptoms... Uh, if you've got that for going on for three weeks or more, we want to see you. Your NHS wants to see you. I know as part of this awareness campaign, there's this... It, I think we've got a picture of it, this enormous lung <laughs> that's being kind of taken around the country. I mean, that's something that's very visual, isn't it? But this campaign has already started. Do you think it's making a difference already? It's definitely making a difference. Um, and, I mean, I think historically a lot of lung cancers have been found in A&E at late stages and almost accidentally. Um, and with this and the targeted lung um, schemes that they've been having, um, they're picking up... Detection is picking things up earlier and, again, early detection gives you better chances of survival. Do you think that being involved in, in this campaign, has it helped you deal with the massively, loss of somebody who was such a huge part of your I mean, life? I've, I've lost my soulmate and mm. my husband and you just... You could sit back and sort of, you know, fall, fall in a heap in the corner, but... Um, actually having a focus and picking up where he left off. Hopefully he's watching and he's proud of me, but it's definitely given me something to focus on. And if I can help make a difference and help stop another family going through what we've gone through, it's a win. Well, I'm sure you are. Thank you, both of you, so much for joining us today to talk us through all this. Wish you all the best. Thank Not you. Thank you. Thank you.